Yo guys, just a quick video to talk about the end of the 1974 El Camino. So as you guys know, we, we bought this on the main channel and did four videos actually. The, the fourth one was at the end of the Lincoln Continental video, uh, but had just an absolute blast driving this back from Phoenix and, and she was good to us. But you know, we're gonna part ways with it. And so normally I put this kind of thing at the end of a video on the main channel, but I figured I'd, I'd put it on here. That way it's at least searchable and, and it's one dedicated video. So these uh, signatures by Derek and, and Freiberger, they held on even though that's washable marker, hasn't been a problem, never clear coated it or anything. And this is going to a guy in Wisconsin, a viewer of the channel. He, uh, he plans to build this up with his son. So he, I think he said he had or does still have a 1974 and his son absolutely loves them. So really stoked to see it going to a good owner. And you know, it's still got the, uh, the fuel cell in the bed. Now he's getting it just like it is, but it starts, runs and drives great. And I'm standing in front of the house that Jen refurbished. There were some past videos on that and I've been seeing a lot of comments asking about the status and well, it's it's a great house. You know, she did the siding, windows, roof. We, we did the, the front uh, deck on it. Still a few small details to finish up, but it's, uh, it's a great house and she'll probably end up rent it out at some point. She actually just installed this light all by herself. She's very, very handy. You hear Gus barking in there. I just got a phone call from the guy, Josh, who's buying this. And I'm sorry I'm speaking so fast, but this, this uh, guy picking up is going to be here very shortly. And he said he learned how to drive on this exact same car, 1974, uh, that his grandfather owned when he passed away and inherited the car. But uh, oh, here's Jen and Gus over here <laughs> just telling them what a nice job he did on that light. Uh, so he inherited that if I remember right he said he was in the military so he went uh, he was doing that for a long while and it's been sitting for 15 years needs a ton more work his son saw the car and was infatuated by it so he's buying this one for a seven-year-old to fix it up with him and then give it to him on his 16th birthday so I think it's going to a good home you guys probably see the ambulance sitting here too and this is kind of where it's living for now until I well make a, a decision on if we're gonna deck this thing out or go with with something different i talked in previous videos about some of the reasons uh why i haven't jumped on that yet what do you think gus you're gonna miss this el camino or what it's like ah, yeah i remember this place i remember this <laughs> She drives so nice. This actually drives better than the Torino. It just, it feels tighter. And here's the guy. Hopefully she don't stall on the hill. Perfect. You gonna miss it? Yeah. Well, at least we had good times and it's going to a good owner, you know. Some kid's gonna learn how to drive on this, on the spirit of America El Camino.